like all companies, you know, we at Golf have um, seen our performance suffer for the last three or four months as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. But it's been a mixed picture across different segments and different geographies. I mean, I think if we look at the marine and the agricultural sector, actually year on year, our volumes are up. Um, demand has still been strong. But of course, across automotive, you know, demand has been almost, almost negligible. And of course, as that's impacted heavily on performance. When we look at geographies, uh, we sort of bounced back in China in, in April and May, a, a pent up demand in, in, in some way where um, we had a bubble, a bubble of uh, volume, which came the first few months before returning to normal trading levels. And as here in Europe, we're starting to get back to sort of normal trading conditions, similar to parts of the Middle East, parts of South America, and of course in Asia, most of our markets are still in partial or full lockdown. Yeah, and I understand that um, Gulf Oil International these days it parks itself within the Hinduja group as well. India, I was looking at some of the demand figures as well. They seem underwhelming, I've got to say, an underwhelming bounce back so far this year. How con much concern have you got about a bounce back in emerging markets? Well, I think, again, each, each market's slightly different. I mean, in India, you know that Gulf Oil is, is, is number two in India. Uh, we've, been, we've been growing there substantially over the last seven years. Of course, we're having to adapt our business model and our business to the changing conditions. If we look into Southeast Asia, um, parts of China, again, a very different picture. But I think what we're doing, uh, like, like most companies, is, is tailoring our cloth to meet the, meet the new business models. And wherever we can get demand and where we can meet demand, we're managing to get that supply out to our customers.